Welcome back to the JEW Sports Talk Show, and today I'm going to be talking about the Minnesota Vikings, and I'm going to be briefly going through their roster and giving you some of my thoughts on who they may draft at the number 14th overall pick. So, let's just get right, in, right into it. So, we're going to start at safety, we're going to start at the top and go down. You know, we're going to start at Harrison Smith and Xavier Rhodes. They did sign Xavier Rhodes, I'm not a fan of him, not a great safety, and then you have Harrison Smith, who is a great safety on the other hand. You know, he has elite, elite, elite instincts and can really, and, and really knows what the offense is doing at all times. You can't really trick him. He's always where the ball is. He's a great safety. Then you have those two linebackers, Merrick Kendrick and Anthony Barr, who are very solid guys. Kendricks is one of the best linebackers in the league. And then you have Anthony Barr, who really had a struggling season last season. He was injury riddled. Injuries did get to him, and I guess we'll see how the, how he bounce back. I hope he does bounce back. He's a very big linebacker, a freakish linebacker. He can be very good when he's healthy. So I hope he comes back and and stays healthy and is a really good linebacker next year for the Vikings. And then and and then you have the corners. You know, not really too bright here. Not really a strength. You have you have Dantzler, You have Mackenzie Alexander, who is actually decent in the slot. Patrick Peterson, you, you have that veteran presence at least. And then you have, you know, that situation with Jeff Gladney. Don't really know what's going to go on there, but I guess we will see. I'm not really going to get into that too much, but yeah, now we're going to go to the defensive line. You know, not really much there outside of Pierce and Hunter. And I'm also hearing that Hunter may be on his way out of Minnesota. So I guess we will see about that, you know, and then Michael Pierce is a very good run stopper. He's a very good plugger. He can really plug up that middle of the defense and in the middle of the whole line, of course, too. So, yeah, maybe some targets to get out of the draft here is an, is an edge rusher, cornerback. I don't really see them drafting a safety this early. I don't think any safety is worthy of the number 14 pick. I don't I think any of them will be taken this high. I don't think any of them should be taken this high, but, I mean, they do have other needs they need to address. You know, do they go corner and J.C. Horn or Baxter Payne if they're still there? Other than that, I don't think there's really a corner taken here, but there will be plenty of edge rushers on the board here and the likes of Quiddy Pay, Jason Owe. Um, you have Jalen Phillips. There's another one I'm forgetting, Quiddy Pay, Jason Owe. Jalen Phillips, I can't think of the other guy right now. Um, but yeah, they I could really see them taking a guy like Owe because Owe is kinda like that freakish guy that with a ton of upside and that's who the Vikings usually seem to um who the Vikings usually seem to really, really target in these drafts and the type of edge rushers they do target, so and they're really good at developing them as well and like in the Hunter, even in uh at Everson Griffin was really good he was really decent you know so those are very realistic possibilities but if you're gonna ask me I would go over to the offensive side and draft a tackle if Derisaw is there take him I don't think Sue well or Slater is gonna be there you know this offensive line is really really decent run blockers they're, they're really decent run blockers but when it comes to pass blocking they're bad they're they're bad, you know, they're not really good at pass blocking at all. So maybe I'll go with the guy Elijah Vera Tucker if he's here, or even Christian Darisaw if he's there. Those are the two offensive linemen that I think are really going to be viable picks, viable options here, unless, you know, they do go at rusher, but these are the only two offensive linemen that are kind of worth this pick, in my opinion. You know, Elijah Vera Tucker can play all over, he can play guard, he can play tackle. I personally think he would be a better guard in the league. But I guess we'll have to see. So I guess we'll see if they address the offensive line. I don't really think they need to address tight end, receiver, quarterback, or running back. One of the best running backs in the league. And then they have a really good wide receiver core in Jefferson and Thielen leading the way. Tight ends are, tight ends are pretty good. Or, or Smith Jr., who showed a lot of promise last year. You know, you have... There's not really going to be a quarterback here to take, 
you know, I know I know they're not really looking for a guy right now, but Kirk Cousins isn't going to be that guy for forever, and they need to start thinking about his future and their and their replacement for him. So I guess we'll see w what they do there in the future. So, yeah, if you were to ask me, I would have to go with either – I have three options here that they can take, you know, maybe even four. I think if Derrissaw is there, you take Derrissaw. If Tucker's there, you take Tucker, but I think Tucker is the last. I think Tucker and Owe could be the two guys worse than the other two I'm going to say. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to go Christian Derrissaw, number one. Number two, I'm going to go Jalen Phillips. Number three, I'm going to go Elijah Tucker. And number four, I'm going to go Jason Owe. So, I really think they should draft Christian Derrissaw if he's there. If not, then go with Jalen Phillips. If Jalen Phillips should be there, and if some crazy reason he's not, then go Tucker. If crazy reason Tucker's not there, then go to Owe or hey, maybe even. So I guess we'll have to see what the Vikings do. So all you Vikings fans out there, let me know what you think they will do in the draft. You know, I think there's many, many possibilities for the Vikings in the draft this year. So I guess we will only see. So let me know what you guys think. You Vikings fans, any fans, let me know what you guys think or who you guys think the Vikings should draft. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next time.